morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone adjusted to the time change well. I know I didn't. I woke up way too late today and has sort of thrown my whole morning off, which is exactly what happened last Sunday, so I need to get myself together. I've already had my wheatgrass shot of the day. I had that first thing this morning, and it's about an hour later. It's um, about 8.15, and I am going to be making a green smoothie, which I have all the ingredients for here. And if you watched my last video, you know that one of my short-term goals for March is to drink more green smoothies. So this is me achieving my goal. I do use a baby bullet because this is the only blender in my house. I used to make all of Julia's baby food and freeze it in batches. So that's why I have that. And then I have plenty of spinach. I'm using almond milk and creamy natural almond butter. I am using some strawberries. I'm using three medium frozen strawberries to give it a little bit of coldness and also a little kick of sweetness. And then I'm using some Orgain organic protein powder. Last time I made this, I did a whole scoop. I'm gonna do a little less than half a scoop this time, maybe just a sprinkle before I mix it all in, um, just to see if it still tastes as good without all of that protein powder in there because it is vanilla flavored and the vanilla flavor definitely overpowered the smoothie last time I made it. And here is the completed product. It made a little over 16 ounces of green smoothie. Um, there's a little bit left over in the blender, but I just poured that in a different cup and drank it real quick. It wasn't that bad. It definitely wasn't as sweet as the last one, which I'm not... Good morning, Julia. It wasn't as sweet as the last one because I did use less protein powder, as you saw me measuring that out. But I'm not mad at that because it was just... It was really, really good, but it felt like I was drinking something that was bad for me because it was so sweet. I'm gonna go enjoy this and watch Baby Einstein. Bye. Okay, y'all, so this is what I'm having for lunch. I know it doesn't look very peeling, but it's actually really delicious and filling. This is avocado tuna salad, and literally it's just a pack of no-drain tuna by the Star Kiss brand, and one whole avocado. I usually do just a half, but I'm very, very hungry today, and so I just had to do a whole one. And then, um... I did two tablespoons of mayonnaise and I did a little sprinkle of dill on top. I like my tuna salad to have a pickle taste to it. And then on the side I'm just having a wedge of Dubliner's cheese. This I'm not sure if I like or if I'll get it again because I didn't realize when I bought it that it was going to be soft and creamy. Despite the fact that it literally says soft and creamy right there on the packet. Um, I just need to, I really need to pay more attention when I'm grocery shopping. But anyway, yep, this is, this is it. This is what I'm having. And I will be back either for a snack or for dinner. Okay, so this is what's for dinner. I made a low carb beanless chili and I made this in the slow cooker. Um, it's my first time making this recipe and I kind of like how it turned out. So what I did was I cooked two pounds of ground beef and then I drained that and dumped it right into my crock pot. I had sliced up three bell peppers and I just added those in there. I did a dash of onion powder because I forgot to buy an actual onion at the store. Um, I did two tablespoons of chili powder a half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one fourth of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a couple of turns of ground black pepper, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of minced garlic. It actually called for five cloves of garlic, but I had the minced garlic already in my fridge, so that's what I used. One can of diced tomatoes. It called for more than one, but I just had one, so <laughs> again, that's what I used. A cup and a half of beef stock, and then I stirred it up, put the lid on it, and put it on low for six to seven hours. I think I did closer to six hours. And it turned out great. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed watching what I eat in a day on low carb. Low carb has really been working for me. I don't feel hungry all the time. It's curbed my cravings. I feel very satisfied. Um, you just really have to give it a chance. Get past the first two weeks and you will really thank yourself. It's so worth it. Okay, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.